you could see when a transport arrived who is going to live and who's going to die immediately. What happened afterwards, after the, the people that got into the camp, that was a different story that you didn't know. But you knew exactly who was going to live and die. If ever there is something that hits me every time I talk about it or think about it, and I, I, I think about it because of, of what happens in my daily life, is the children. You know, the, the people that arrived there arrived in cattle cars. So you saw well-dressed people, poorly dressed people. One thing, they all hadn't come and they were very tired. They were very thirsty. We were not allowed to talk to them. You talked to them, somebody caught you, you were dead. They took you right behind the ditch and killed you because they didn't want us to pass information. And again, you don't make yourself... There are no big shots in the camp. Oh, there were some heroes. There were heroes there that I respect. Most of them, 90% of the heroes are dead, but they were heroes. But the rest, like me, me included, hey, I was no hero. But you tried to do whatever you could do. Like, for instance, you saw these kids came off, and, and, and you looked at them, and, and they were all ages. They were from infants that were carried by parents to little boys and girls that were walking. They, <laughs> a little toy in their hands. They were hanging on to their mothers. They looked bewildered. They looked frightened. Some of them cried. And you knew that one hour later, these kids are all going to be dead. You didn't, you know, somehow didn't focus in on the grown-ups. And that bothers me until this day. <laughs>